What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're gonna to do the first mod for the DRZ here. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. This is my 2019 Suzuki DRZ 400S dual sport bike. I've had it for about five weeks now, about 750 miles, and I like it a lot, very clean, except for this area. And that's exactly what we're going to be modifying today. We're gonna to be getting rid of this big old plastic 1980s looking taillight and fender piece. I picked up a fender eliminator kit actually from eBay. Don't hate on me yet. I know the box and the bracket itself actually say savage but online on ebay i found it as tidy tails t-i-d-y-t-a-i-l-s and i will put the link in the description below if you're curious but yeah this was 25 bucks and you know on a dual sport bike this thing's going to be off-road i'm going to be getting it beat up this thing's going to be hitting trees and falling down i didn't want to spend the 155 dollars that yoshimira was asking for their fender eliminator kit there are a lot of options in between the 25 dollar ebay kit and the $155 Yoshi kits, but they all seem to be integrated. And what I mean by that is the turn signals are all integrated into the taillight, which looks cool, but for a safety factor, I really like having these separate turn signals and I don't mind the look of them as they are clear lens, as my new taillight is clear. I think that's gonna look really good. So I think this is gonna be a pretty easy install. And this kit, this eliminator, after it's boarded up, you see there are holes on the side to put the factory turn signals back in so it's definitely going to clean the bike up a lot tail lights going to go in i think it's going to look really good now i'm not going to do a step-by-step -step and detailed install on the eliminator after i get it in the garage and torn apart i will stop and show you guys some of the important parts of like you know when when it's all apart and when we're putting it back on you know some of the wiring because i know we do have to do some wiring to get the light to work so uh i'll show you know i'll show you guys a couple parts along the way stay tuned a few moments later all right guys so here we are obviously i got a couple of plastics off the bike the old and outdated fender is sitting right there got the new light actually hooked up for the time being i didn't solder it together yet i just wanted to test it to see if it works that old fender was literally held on by six bolts three on each side these here are actually for the oem turn signals so uh you know we need that to put those back on i got this part of the plastic off to disconnect the battery before you know cutting and splicing any wires and then we had this side of the plastics off just so we could disconnect the turn signals from the root the good news is this does work so if i turn the key on turn the key on we see the light is lit and if i hit the brake the brakes do light up so that is uh that's good news um all I gotta do now is I am going to take off these connections that uh, come with this light. I'm basically gonna solder all the wires together real quick and then we should be pretty good to go. We should be able to mount that up, put the OEM turn signals back on and call it a day. All right, guys, real quick, I got everything soldered up and then taped up real nice. Well, the only thing I had to do, you know, modifying OEM stuff so far, I had to bring out the grinder tool because I had to grind down these washers a little bit to, you know, make clearance to fit, if that makes sense. So they wouldn't fit in here. They were a little too big to fit in between this like L here. So I did have to grind down that washer a little bit. All right, guys, and that's it. She is uh, all wrapped up. Everything else went together really, really smoothly. Turn signals went on and I uh, have no issues. As we can see, we'll turn the key on. It works. It works. And uh, it's even hooked the turn signals up properly. So they work as well. Very happy with that. I definitely think it cleans up hella nice if you ask me. Like I said, everything else bolstered up pretty good. Here's the uh, little sneak peek the underneath wiring situation just had to tuck a little bit up there and uh she's good to go so all in all pretty good install on actual working time maybe an hour maybe an hour not too bad obviously it's dark out i started when it was light outside but i had to run a couple errands in between installing this but i like it i think the clear lens works well with the clear turn signal lights and uh plate seems to be pretty sturdy so all in all pretty good First bike mod, all done. I think it looks really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, 
eBay, 25 bucks. I'll leave the link in the description below. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not a part of the family. Join the family, join the builds. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.